Okay, we're going to talk about another way to think about a differential equation. If you remember, a differential equation is just an equation that has a derivative in it. For example, y prime equals 2, which can also be rewritten as dy dx equals 2, is a differential equation. And when I ask you to solve this differential equation, what I want you to do is give me the original function f of x or y in this case. And I know we can come up with a solution pretty easily, but remember, in order to integrate, you really need that dx over here. And what happens is the antiderivative 1 dy is y, the antiderivative 2 dx is 2x plus c. So this is called our general solution. So this one, we know what the solution is going to be. Now, another way to think about a differential equation is we're going to look at it graphically. So what we're going to do is actually graph the slope of this equation, which is this differential equation right here. So what this is saying is for whatever the original function is, the slope is always 2. So at every single point on the graph, the slope of this equation should always be 2. So at 0, 0, the slope of this equation is 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a tangent line segment, a real small segment that has a slope of 2. You don't have to sit there and measure this out. As long as it is a positive slope, that's fine. At 0, 1, slope is also 2. It tells me y prime is always 2, regardless of where you're at. At every single point on this graph, the slope is always 2. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a little tangent line segment that has a slope of 2 everywhere. And everywhere, your tangent line segment should be the same because the slope is 2. So this is called a slope field. Basically, it's a graphical representation of this equation. The idea is, even if you didn't have the equation, but I gave you the slope field, you can say, oh, I see the slopes are all positive. Slopes look like they're all the same. So obviously, the solution has to be a linear function. Okay. Let's try another one. So look at number 2. Notice your slope is always equal to x. Okay, so we're just going to start plotting points. So if you want to make a table, you can. At 0, 0, if I plug in 0 for x, your slope is just whatever the x coordinate is. My slope is 0. So I'm going to create a little tangent line segment that has a slope of 0. Um, let's pick 1, 1. If I go to 1, 1, the slope is whatever the x value, which is 1, so my slope is 1. So I'm going to draw a tangent line segment that has a slope of 1. Um, let's go to 2, 1. So 2, 1. If I plug in 2, 1, my slope is 2. So at 2, 1, you want to make it slightly steeper than what you did here. Okay? I'm going to pull, fill in a couple other points pretty quickly. Notice, since this is always dependent on x, if x is 0, slope should always be 0. So wherever x is 0, this should all have a horizontal tangent line segment. At x equals 1, dy dx, or my slope is always 1. So I'm drawing a tangent line segment that always has a slope of 1. At x equals 2, my slope is always 2. So you want all of these to look like they have the same slope of 2. Now let's go on the other side. When I plug in negative 1 for x, slope is always negative 1. So you're going to draw a little tangent line segment that has a slope of negative 1. If I plug in negative 2, I'm going to draw in a tangent line segment that has a slope of negative 2. Now, what you will notice is as you draw these slope fields, you can get an idea of what the original curve looks like. Okay? So this is part A. We're graphing the slope field. Okay. This is a differential equation that we can solve. So again, we do need to put the dx over here. I can integrate this, so y is equal to x squared over 2 plus c. So this is your general solution. Now the next thing says graph the solution going through the point 0, 0. So here's 0, 0 right here. That's a point I'm giving you. And let's come up with the picture of the solution at 0, 0. These little slope fields are kind of signposts telling you which direction the graph is going to move. This is a horizontal tangent, so it means the slope at this point is 0, so I'm just going to move horizontally, and I'm going to start by moving to the right. 
As I approach this point, notice the slope field is telling me it's a positive slope. So I need to start increasing. So just start increasing. And then notice as I approach the next slope field or tangent line, the slope gets steeper, but still positive. So I want to start getting steeper and start still being positive. And same idea this way. Okay. Again, this is a rough sketch. It doesn't have to look exactly like this, but it should be a parabola of some kind. I should say increasing inc um, and then decreasing on this side. And typically, a good way to do it is just kind of run it in between your little tangent line segments. If I said to draw a tangent line, a solution at 0, negative 2, you're going to start at 0, negative 2. Again, you start with a slope of 0, so I'm going to move to the right. As I move to the next slope field or tangent line, it's saying to go positive. So your graph, your solution graph at 0, negative 2 would some, look something like that. And that's in line with our solution that we came up with algebraically. The solution is a parabola, which we can see. Okay. Now, typically, we want to do slope fields for problems that you cannot solve algebraically. So look at number six. This is a differential equation. There is no way to solve this algebraically by separating your variables. What that means is, if I put the y's with the dy's, it looks like this. The y would have to be subtracted. You cannot integrate negative y plus dy. It always has to be multiplied by dy. So we cannot solve this algebraically, but I can still get information about this equation by looking at it graphically. So again, we're just going to plot some points. Okay, let's do... So dy dx is x plus y. So let's just pick a couple points to do. At 0, 0, my slope is 0. So I know I'm going to have a horizontal tangent right there. Let's try 0, 1, which is this point right here. If I plug in 0, 1, my slope is 1. So just draw a tangent line that has a slope of roughly 1. If I go to 0, 2, my slope is 2, x plus y. So this is going to be steeper. And then at 0, 3, it would be even steeper. All right. Um, let's try a couple points here. Let's try the point 1, 0. So at 1, 0, my slope is still 1. So you're going to draw a tangent line, something like that. Okay. And it's just basically plotting points. I can still look at this slope field, and it still gives me information about the original function, even though I cannot come up with the original solution. Like I know there's a horizontal tangent here. I know to the right of 0, it looks like there's a positive slope. So your slope fields are just a graphical representation of a differential equation.